Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's a Blue Cough Ball today with another Pokemon TCG online video. And today we're going to be showcasing a Night March deck. Uh, for one reason, I've been playing online and boy, do I see a ton of Night March decks. So I thought, you know, uh, might as well, I might as well make one too, right? And have some fun. So that's what we do on this channel. We build decks and we just have fun, right? So building weird decks and fun decks is the way to go. So we got Mew EX here, but really what Mew does is to copy the Night March attack, right? So uh, we want to abuse Mew's ability, uh, being a psychic Pokemon, uh, to copy attacks and then also abuse it with uh, Dimension Valley. So for Night March, you guys probably seen this before. This is a pretty old tactic. As soon as this came out, people are already, you know, who hooping, hoorah, you know, Night March is going to be a big deal. So everyone knows about this. Night March, this attack does 20 damage times and there Pokemon in your discard pile to have the Night March attack. So, uh, you know, if you say you have, uh, you know, 10, you're doing 20 you know, times 20, 10 times 20, and 200 damage. So there you go. Even with the resistance, psychic resistance, you're still hitting for 180. Mew um, with Versatile. You, you, you can combine it with Dimension Valley, and then if you have a Joltik on your bench, you're doing Night March for basically one energy. Um, but, you know, granted, you might get countered, or let's say you only have a Pumpkin Boo on your, your bench, you can still use DCE and still get the job done. Now, we do have one tech card with Flareon here. It's actually very nice to have Flareon on the deck since uh, Vengeance, right? Does 10 more damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Uh, let's say you have 20 of them. You know, you're, you're doing a lot. All right, so... Um, it does work well with, with fire weak Pokemon, metal types, uh, grass types. Um, and we do run a Mr. Mime just to protect the bench since Joltik is a 30 HP Pokemon that can get knocked out by a Landorus EX Hammerhead. But yeah, that's about it for the Pokemon. It's, you know, pretty straightforward. We got Lampent here with also the Night March. Uh, we never use that. It's, we don't ever use Litwick, so there you go. And then we have, you know, Mr. Mime and then Pumpkaboo already mentioned with also Night March and that's pretty pretty legit all right so for uh tools items and whatnot we got battle compressor search your deck up to three cards and discard them and shuffle your deck afterwards pretty good team flare gear here uh used in many decks it's kind of a staple in a multitude of decks so we're gonna run four of them we want to discard and discard fast uh, we got four bicycles we want to draw cards and we want to draw cards fast all right so there you go four bicycles one computer search that way you can search out the dces one escape rope just to switch out in case you never know paralysis whatnot okay four roller skates we want to flip heads and we want to flip heads fast <laughs> you guys get what i'm saying here three ultra balls to get the pokemon out two via seekers uh one lysander four ends four junipers that's it <laughs> this deck is going to rely on roller skates and bicycle to get the job done we, we're running eight of these this the the deck needs to just flow really fast and boy um you know these the supporters, we just need draw support, and N and Juniper kind of just, they get the job done. Uh, for Stadium, obviously, we have three Dimension Valley, and then for Tools, we got uh, three Muscle Band. Now, here's the thing. We do have uh, four DCEs. Obviously, works very well for Vengeance, but we do run Fire Energy. That way, we can evolve into Flareon right away with Eevee's Energy Evolution. Now, you might be thinking, why don't you have uh, Electric Energy for Gnaw? Or, you know, maybe Mew needs a uh, replace. Uh, nah, whoever does that anyways. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get a match going on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, looks like we'll be playing against Pocket Dragon. That's pretty cool. And no one has the advantage. I like that. It's a fair matchup. Um, we can see here my Pocket Dragon opponent has chosen Tails. I... Ooh. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm going to let him go first. We want to attack first. See, with this kind of deck, we want to just hit and hit it fast. So we're playing against a Shift Tree deck with Manectric EX. That's interesting. All right. Uh, that's not the start we want, but hey, what can you do? So we'll go with the EV. Um, we do have one Joltik. Uh, I'm not gonna play another one. Yeah, nah, that's right. All right, so my opponent gets to go first. That's a bummer. He will get to evolve first. We do see him have a call for family here. Luckily, we won't see that happening in his first turn. We see my opponent discard the energy and a Colorus, possibly getting Manectric, and yes, he does. Okay, so. Uh, hey, if he's got a switch, you know, maybe he can, uh, uh, maybe switch out or something like that. I don't know. Um, but at this point, um, 
boy, this is not looking good. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and discard some, let's see, some Night March Pokemon. What we want is the Lamp at first. I just want to make sure that the um, Flareon is in the deck. If Flareon's not here, um, there's no point of dropping the energy. Oh no, Flareon is not here. Flareon is prized. Oh boy. That is not good. Uh, let's get rid of the pumpkin boo. Let's get rid of one Joltik here. And let's get rid of the... Uh, we do need the Mr. Mime. Uh, I don't want to get hit with, uh, you know, the um, overrun. Did you guys... Did I miss the Lampet? Is the Lampet prized? The Lampet's prized? Oh, boy. That's not good. All right. So we can get rid of a pumpkin boo. Oh, that's no fun. Okay, so what now? Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to get a Mew out. Okay. All right, so we get the Mew. And uh, we want to play the Escape Rope. And we can force one of these guys out. And uh, we'll play the Mew. Hopefully we can get a DCE. And then we can just copy and do a Night March. All right, so here we go. DCE, come on. Yes, we got a DCE. Perfect. We even get a Dimension Valley. And uh, we even get another Battle Compressor. So I want to keep a Joltik in there. I want to keep the Mr. Mime. Uh, we could probably get rid of the Pumpkaboo and the other Pumpkaboo and maybe the Joltik. So we got one Joltik left just in case, uh, which is not that great. Um, you know, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of the energy. Hmm. Uh, let's just get rid of the pumpkin. Why not? Why the heck not? All right, there we go. Uh, and let's see. Let's just get the other Joltik out. Let's get Mr. Mime. There we go. That way we can protect the Joltik. And versatile. Um, don't want to do overrun. Night March 180 knockout. Look at that. Turn one knockout. That is vicious. <laughs> can you... Can you see? Oh my gosh. Uh, and we even got the Mr. Mime out to protect the little Joltik. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> oh no. My opponent can definitely retreat, uh, but I got a Lystander here with the Manectric's name on it. <laughs> see how just brutally vicious this deck is? Eh, man, this is that's just ridiculous. Um, so my opponent's playing another Manectric onto the bench. We see a... <laughs> Target whistle. That's okay, actually. I don't. I don't mind the pumpkaboo there. Uh, you know, if I can get a muscle band, uh, we'll still knock it out. You know, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna juniper and hope to get a muscle band. So, oh no, oh boy. Um, hmm. Well, if we juniper and get a DCE and a muscle band, we can still. Oh, look at that. We got the DCE. And yep, we got the we got the muscle band, and here we go, night march. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh man, we get the the Flareon, so that means the Lampet is still prized. <laughs> my opponent concedes. That is brutal. Oh my goodness, that is just brutal. All right, so let's get another match. Uh, we we had a just a vicious start. Of course, we had to play some things. And we did get lucky on a couple draws, but, you know, we strategically were able to put ourselves in the best position to get back-to-back, -back, turn one, turn two, 180 hit knockouts. Um, my opponent did choose some pretty wise decisions to try to stall for a little bit, but, you know, it couldn't work. So here we go. My opponent uh, has flipped heads and will be going first. Uh, I do get a pumpkaboo, so there we go. Um... A couple things we do here, definitely we can play the DCE on the Pumpkaboo, why not? Uh, or we can kind of save, uh, you know, and see what else we can get. But we, I like my hand. We have a, a lot of opportunities here to, to draw cards and, and try to get different things. So, uh, especially with the Ultra Ball, we can Ultra Ball some things out and whatnot. So, um, I like the start. This is a good start. We don't have any supporters, but uh, we're off to a good start. We see... And a full art Emolga from Legendary Treasures. We also got a rat Ratata. Ratata, I don't know, whatever. Uh, the, the Denny here. So my opponent likes mice or rodents. <laughs> this has got to be some kind of uh, rodent deck or something like that. Um, but here we go. We got the Emolga here. Definitely can call for family or do a static shock in the next turn. Um, I like where we're headed. We have an opportunity to Night March in our first turn. So... Uh, definitely, I'm looking forward to that if we have that potential. Uh, if we could top deck, uh, like a battle compressor or something, that would be pretty sweet. But 
uh, unlikely, uh, very unlikely. We see my opponent um, kind of reverting that uh, move and putting the Rattata, um, putting the energy on the Rattata. So, um, all right, so we got a couple things we can do here. Uh, definitely just try to go for the roller skates first. Nope, not getting that. So here we go. We'll play, uh, let's just play that here. You know what? I'm feeling pretty good. So um, let's go with that. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need the Flareon in this matchup. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get the Joltik, get it onto the bench. Um, you know, you never know when you might need a Joltik on the bench, right? So, oh, there we go. We get it. Run another roller skates, flip heads, and we get the battle compressor. Here we go. Battle compressor, baby. Come on. Show me the lampants. Show me the lampants. All right, so we got two lampants there. What? What the? Hey, what? Where's the other lampants? Come on. Come on. Oh, to our prize. That is just ridiculous. All right. I'm not complaining. Uh, so we can get another one down here. Let's go ahead and juniper this hand away. We need the dimension valley. We got the dimension valley. So um, we also got a battle compressor here. Uh, we get another roller skates, flipping tails. Uh, we can get the juniper back into her hand. So there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna battle compressor. I don't know what else is in my deck, but we can thin it out. Um, you know, with things that we don't really need anymore. So in this matchup, I, I don't think we need Mr. Mime. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't really think we need, uh, food. Hmm, that's about it. Uh, we're going to discard it anyways. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, you know, I'm going to discard the fire energies. I don't think we need that. We don't really need to evolve. We just need DCEs at this point. So get rid of those. Um, and here we go. We'll just Night March, knock out this Emolga. There's that Lampent. Perfect. So we get three more Night Marches into the deck. And hopefully we can draw a DCE. Uh, my opponent can definitely draw, uh, you know, a DCE and eradicate, and then laser, and that would knock out the pump kaboo. Uh, that would be pretty nice. Oh no, we see the Aspersia City Gym. Wait, wait, wait a second. Isn't this rotated? Oh no, no, it's boundaries crossed. Okay, that's right. All right, so you know, if we can top deck a Dimension Valley or get it off of the Juniper, that would be beautiful. Um, so we see that the Dene definitely could do Entrapment or an Energy Short, um, either or. Uh, not too worried. So we see the lightning energy. Um, yeah, uh, if we get hit for an energy short, that would definitely do, what, 40 damage um, with a muscle band, 60. So that could still knock out the pump kaboo. Uh, we are by no means uh, in in, uh, in a superior position right now. We are. This is still anyone's game. Uh, my opponent definitely can knock out the pump kaboo. And if we don't pick up a energy, yeah, we, you know, this is not good. Um, so if we, if we were in that kind of position, um, <laughs> tough luck. So here we go. My opponent has the uh, Joltik out in play. Um, hmm. So I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, we do have that escape rope. And if we could top that, that, that would be nice too. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and Juniper our hand away. And no. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, hmm. Um. Okay then. <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't get a DCE off that juniper. What luck! All right. So my opponent has played a, another rodent type Pokemon, and he's got three Ratatatas out here. Ratatas, whatever you call them. This is definitely the rodent deck. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of different little, uh, uh, you know, teeny tiny, you know, Pokemon like things anyways we see the eradicate or the rattata uh basically pumped up to yeah to um to hit us potentially with a laser and a hyper fang or a super fang or whatever it's called uh, but you know what we're not gonna let that happen let's let's not let that happen um <laughs> if we can top deck a energy that would be great um but no we, we didn't and um hmm uh, what to do here? You know, I don't want to play an N, nor do I really want a Juniper. Uh, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, let's just N. And okay, so we're able to get the escape rope. Um, and this way, I you know, uh, no problem, sir. Uh, I didn't want to deck out. Uh, that's that's the reason. Um, yeah, because if I Junipered, right, uh, we'd have been down to single digits. I think it was like what. 
seven cards or six cards left, that's not a really good position. And my opponent can just kind of drag out the game or something. Who knows? You know, maybe my opponent uh, has, uh, uh, I don't know, something, some other tricks up his sleeves. But, all right, so we're just going to go with the Night March, uh, knocking this guy out. And there we go, another battle compressor that we don't really need anymore. Um, my opponent will definitely get a knockout here. We can just use the computer search to get um, the DCE played onto the Mew and knock out the uh, Raticate. So that's kind of the plan. Um, or not. We can just play Lysander. Uh, that's what we'll do then. Uh, I was expecting the Raticate to come out, but um, I guess we didn't see that happen. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna, we'll are gonna bring out the, the Rattata with the energies and then uh, just knock it out. Uh, ooh, we do see a smooth coat here. Any damage done to this Pokemon? Flip a coin. I got to flip a coin. That's no good. But the Rattata over here is the most threatening thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's my main concern. So we're going to hang on to the end. Definitely I'm going to um, probably just uh, computer search away the Battle Compressor and potentially something else that we draw, unless it's a good card. Uh, like a DCE or something. Uh, I'd love to keep a DCE in play. That would be very nice. It doesn't seem like my opponent plays any Enhance Hammers. Uh, I don't know. He still has a lot of cards in the deck, so you never know if he might play that or not. My opponent has played the Hypnotoxic Laser. Uh, luckily, I did not fall asleep. Uh, that way, I still got a crack at knocking out the Rattata. And, um, you know, even if this Punkaboo goes down, I'm okay with that. So we see the Dowsing Machine. Um, Wow, getting rid of an end and a Shadow Triad. Uh, not sure what that's about. Um, I think what he wants to do is... Ooh, okay. So he gets the gem out. And bummer. Okay, so it doesn't matter. I can retreat with the Pumpkaboo. And... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This is not a good... This is definitely not a really good position. Um, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Yeah, I just want to keep the cards right now. Uh, and even the end, I kind of just want to keep that. Both my Via Seekers are in the prize. One end's already been played, and I have two ends in the deck. I don't want to deck out, but you know what? Um, I'm going to end, and... Okay, so we got the computer search. That way... Uh, this is tricky. Um, I can't exactly not do anything, so I'm just going to retreat. Uh, I can play DC onto the Mew next turn. I can still copy and do Night March. So let's hope I flip heads. Okay. Uh, he flips tails. That's right. <laughs> hey, look. It's the Lampin. We can discard it with the computer search. So here, here's my opponent. Um, my opponent can definitely play um, you know, the Raticate and then a laser and knock out my Mew. Um, but, you know, I got the energy here. And I'll just knock out the Raticate. So, um... Oh no! Oh. oh boy, that's not good. Um, we do have the Dimension Valley. Man, that is rough. Okay, whoo! How many ends has he got left? One, two, three. He's got three. Uh, three in the this card. He's got one left. Hopefully, that last one is prized. Um, but if my opponent doesn't have the laser, uh, we will knock out the Raticate here. And uh, you know, I'm actually okay with that. So. Uh, there we go. We see a DCE here. Um, let's see if we see the DCE, uh, the uh, laser come down. And no, we just see the Hyper Fang or Super Fang or whatever it's called. All right, so here we go. We'll go with that. I'm going to play the end. Give us a better shot at being able to attack next turn. And there we go. Versatile. Let's go. Night March. 140. Um... And there's a Joltek. Look at that. Okay, so the Mew is definitely going down. I am by no means concerned. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I am concerned a little bit. But uh, we have a shot at taking out the next Rattata. If my opponent has a laser, I will get knocked out. Um, but with the energy short, I will still get knocked out. So, so there you have it. We do see a Robo Substitute hit the field. Um, that would be interesting. I don't know if I have another Lysander. I only play one. Oh, wait, wait, it's still in my deck. So, um, All right, so what we're going to do is definitely just play the Mew. Uh, I'm going to opt to Juniper. I think I'm at a position where uh, if I Juniper away my hand, I'll be down to five cards. So I'm going to take my chances that I can get two knockouts in five turns. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We um, What I really want to do is... Um, Alright, so let's just go ahead 
And we'll play this. Yeah, I'm just going to do for What? We didn't get the Lysander. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Um, let's see. Uh, one, two DCEs are in the discard. One's on the Mew. And I think one should be in in the uh, deck. So let's go ahead and just take a peek. There we go. We got one Lysander in there. And we got the computer search. We got the DCE. We have enough to attack and knock out one more. So um, it's just, you know, I'm... Even if we deck out, we will deck out at the point of which we will win. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> another Joltik. What the heck? Uh, what, 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 what? That means two Joltiks were prized. All right. So my opponent is definitely going to come with. Uh, he's going to bring drop down the laser and the super fang. But you know what? I don't mind at all. Uh, I don't mind one bit. All right. So here we go. Here's the Raticate. Um, I'm just going to Juniper. We, we know exactly what we're going to get. Uh, and we will knock out at the last one. So so this match was pretty exciting, pretty fun. Playing against a... Oh, no. Oh, great. Um, well, that's no good. Um, oh, boy. All right. So I'm going to hang... Actually, I'm going to hang on to this. He's got one end left. One, two. So he's got one end left. I don't want to take anything up for chance. Uh, so he got four cards. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right. So if we do the math, I knock this out. I will. In my next turn, I'll draw one more card. Right. So what we need to do is make sure that we draw the Lysander. So. If we discard everything and just leave Lysander there, um, we will guarantee a knockout. All right, so <laughs> let's just go with this. This is, uh, I don't know, this might not be the best plan. Um, all right, so all right, let's let's think. All right, let's think. Uh, so I knock out this Robo Substitute. Uh, he can knock out the Mew, but I got this Mew to back it up, and and you know what? All right, so let's just do that. Guarantee. Ooh. All right, let's just do that. Okay, that's that's pretty safe. I got a computer search, and uh, you know, it's just oh boy. Okay, uh, night march. Here we go. Oh, I could tail smack. That'll be funny. All right, so let's go with night march, knocking this out, not taking a prize. So we're guaranteed at least a computer search or a Lysander. Right? If we get the computer search, we'll just play the computer search for the Lysander. Lysander out the eradicate, knock it out. Um, if my opponent opts to discard the Robo Substitute, if he top decked the laser uh, and knocks out my Mew, that's okay. We'll be, you know, my opponent would be two prizes away to win. But hey, uh, we guarantee, guarantee. All right, so we got the. <laughs> All right, GG, versatile. Look at that call for family, whatever. Don't need those. Knocking out the Raticate, taking the victory over a Rodent deck. Looks like the Mouse deck cannot prevail against the Mew and the Night March. Pokemon. So, all right, what do you guys think of this deck? Let me know in the comments below. Boy, this is a little bit slower, but hey, it was a ton of fun. And that's what we do on this channel, playing Pokemon TCG for the fun of the game. So, hopefully you guys have a good day. I'll have some more Pokemon videos for you guys soon. You guys take care now. Goodbye.